Welcome to Go Bears Diecast Workshop, Episode 22. Remember, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified of future videos. Today I'm going to be working on a 62 Chevy Custom Truck. As you can see, it's very play-worn. The bumper has lost all of its chrome. The paint is very worn. And it's going to need a lot of help. I've already drilled and tapped the casting, so let's see what we got to work with. has a plastic base, plastic wheels and tires. The bed of the truck and the bumper itself is molded together. I'm having a little trouble getting it apart. I will get it apart. There it is. Got chrome on it. What's left of the chrome. We're going to go ahead and take off with some uh, easy off oven cleaner. has a smoked windshield. It's in good shape. And of course the casting itself, as you can see, it's got a lot of crud on the inside. Uh, it's got some corrosion. So we're going to get it in the stripper and see exactly what we're working with after we get all the paint off. All right, as you can see, the citrus strip didn't take everything off, but the corrosion was uh, making the paint adhere. So we're going to take a wire wheel and my Dremel and clean it up best we can. Now the wire wheel is taking off this corrosion and paint. I'm probably going to have to come back with some sandpaper and maybe some uh, dental picks to clean out of the grooves. As you can see there's a lot of paint on the inside still left. But I'll go over that real good with the wire wheel as I'm using the wire wheel I see that there is a lot of toning to this casting it's probably left behind because of the actual corrosion you can see a real good shot of the roof of the cab of the truck um, gonna have to sand that off probably gonna use some 320 grit sandpaper Now I'll go over the entire casting with the wire wheel because this thing is in such bad shape. It doesn't appear, appear that it has any real divots in it or anything so that's good. It hadn't eaten away at the metal too bad. Um, it just had started out with the toning. But I'm not going to be using Spectre Flame on this so I'm going to get the casting as smooth as possible with the prep work and uh, come back with a primer and top coat on it. I'm thinking that I'm probably going to go ahead with uh, the two-tone cab being one color and the main body being another. But of course first things first is getting the body prepped to accept the primer and paint. And there you can see inside the bed how bad it is. This one took me a pretty good bit of time working it out. Getting all of the uh, corrosion and taking care of the body lines and all the crevices. There was a lot of little details on this particular casting which is why I really liked it. It's getting pretty smooth there. I'm running my finger across it just to make sure. Now here we go with uh, some primer. Get a nice coat of primer on it. Especially since the uh, 
casting was in such bad shape initially. I want to make sure I protect it so it will last a long time in my collection. Nice even coat. You want to make sure you don't get too heavy. Runs and sags. I'm putting a little bit more primer than usual. Just because of uh, the condition of the casting prior to It's looking pretty good. All right, let me get started with the white. Always go with the lighter color, especially if you're going to do a two tone paint job. I didn't feel it necessary to mass off just the part that I wanted white because. Uh, color I'm coming behind it with it's gonna cover it just fine again take your time nice light even coats building up the coats to the final finish I'm just using a rattle can a white dupa color it's gonna be a brilliant white so it'll shine really nice when it gets a clear coat on top Just taking them nice and slow. Making sure I get the cap covered. Because that's going to be the uh, part of the body that's going to stay white. Okay. Alright, now I've got the cab taped off. Make sure that it's nice and tight so we don't get any bleed over in underneath the tape. Come back behind it with this beautiful green color. I just really love this color. Just wait till you see the end product. It really stands out. Great color combination. Over in the corner of the screen, you'll see that uh, I have the bed and the interior. And I'm spraying that with the same color off camera. Just because I didn't want to get a bunch of overspray on the actual casting. But I sprayed the actual bench seat was white. And the rest of that uh, interior was going to be the green. coming back light coats this is a beautiful green metallic again make sure I cover it really well that clear coats gonna make it really pop I think the green with the white is just a classic color There I am going back to the interior and the bed, making sure that I get that coated well. And then just remember, take your time. You don't have to be in a rush. And again, I'm spraying this with a rattle can. It's turning out really, really nice. If you look at the interior, also the bumper is going to be white. So there you have the interior. I left the bumper white. Accident with the chrome. Now look at that base. 
did the tail lights, did the little bow tie, and did the front. Also took care of the wheels. Just touched them up with some white. Uh, this is what we started out with. As you can see, it was pretty play worn, beat up, chrome missing, corrosion on the body. Not the greatest color. And here's the final product. I think this is very classy, beautiful green, white cab, white bench seat, white bumper chrome tips for the exhaust I detailed the undercarriage as well chrome Chevrolet symbol tail lights done with the chrome around it chrome gas cap and the smoke glass the dash is the same color as the body of the casting Again, I hope you guys like what I've done with it. It's a beautiful truck. Vast improvement from what we began with. Again, if you like what you see, subscribe. And those subscribers that have come back, thank you for coming back and watching. And stay safe. Thank you.